So now that this is in place, this is where it's going to sit. I'm just going to go ahead and tack it in to the cleats here using pretty small trim nails and that should do the job. So because I messed up, this gives you an idea how bad of a space I have here and I can't just fill it with collars, horrible. And if any carpenter sees this, they're gonna flip out. But I can actually take this quarter round and cover it up like that. And we got enough structure underneath where we should be fine. And so that quarter round covered up pretty nice. It might be a surprise, but most corners in houses aren't exactly 90 degrees. So what happens is if you go to cut your molding, the straight 45 degrees in your chop saw, when you go to put that joint together around the corner, it's not gonna fit perfectly. So there's actually an easy way to find the exact angles for the corners and it doesn't require any specific measuring tools. And I'm gonna show you how to do that today. I start with two straight edge pieces with identical widths. I place the longer board against the longer wall face and the shorter board on top, butting the shorter wall face. I mark both sides where the short board overlaps the long board. Drawing a line between the two line ends creates the bisected angle of the wall joint the same angle I need to cut my trim pieces at. At the saw, I adjust my blade to orient with the line created. In this case, it was just over 45 degrees. I then take a piece of trim, place it in position, and mark the backside and carefully make the cut on the chop saw. I then position the saw to the same angle reading in the opposite orientation and cut the adjoining trim piece longer than necessary. Now I could check the fit of the joint and it ended up being perfect. Next, I mark the opposite end angle location and cut the remaining pieces precisely using the same method I just demonstrated. Once all the trim pieces were cut, I attached them using wood glue, gluing the trim pieces directly to the shelf board, and voila, trim can be a beautiful thing no one will ever know about the gaps underneath. Finally, I caulked the seams to prepare for painting and then painted the new shelf with several coats of semi-gloss paint. I ended up with a plant shelf that I think looks great and is more than functional. Please let me know what you think in the comments section, give the video a thumbs up if worthy, and consider subscribing if interested in more do-it-yourself projects. Thanks for watching, I'm Joe Kistel.